And we are beginning tonight with the final day of the Carmel International Film Festival. It came to a close today, and the final film screen was created by local filmmakers. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran spoke with them this afternoon. She joins us live in our Slingers newsroom with tonight's top story. That's right, Lauren. And the film stars Scott Eastwood. It's a Western thriller written by some Carmel natives, and the film was screened at the high school of the director this afternoon. Dozens of people gathered at the Carmel High School Performing Arts Center Sunday afternoon for the final screening of the Carmel International Film Festival. The film Diablo was written and directed by local filmmakers who aimed to put a new spin on the Western genre. I wanted to tell a story about uh, the PTSD issue pre-World War I, pre-World War II, and, and then when I was doing my research, I found out that uh, nobody had done this before. Screenwriter and producer Carlos de los Rios says its success is due to its strong cast and crew. We had Lawrence Rock, director of The Forger. We had Dean Cundy, who made Back to the Future and Apollo 13. We had Scott Eastwood. It's wonderful to work with people that you just admire. The director says the success is even sweeter having his film shown at the high school he graduated from. To go down to Los Angeles for many, many years and fight it out in the trenches of LA, to come back home to my own hometown and, and premiere my film is obviously a huge thrill. It's a lot of fun celebrating with my friends and family. Now the director told me that being part of the Carmel International Film Festival was extra satisfying because he said that he once got a D minus in photography at Carmel High School. So the screening definitely brought back some memories. Lauren. Absolutely. Thanks, Bianca. Hard to believe he got a D. Well, Diablo hits select theaters in January.